Hi kids! Today we're going to be reading Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep by Eric Barkley. Let's start reading. This is Sheep. She loves to dance. She knows all kinds of fancy dances, like the wildflower dance, the mud puddle dance, the get this spider off me dance, and of course, the pee pee dance. Dancing makes her very happy, and when she's happy, she closes her eyes. And when she closes her eyes, she bumps into things, usually trees. But one day she bumped into something that wasn't a tree. It was a someone, a very hairy someone. Holy begonia, she said. Who are you? I'm the sheepdog, the someone replied. I watch the sheep. Well, I'm a sheep sheep. I watch sheep too. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching sheep. I don't see how you can be much of a sheep watcher with all that hair in your eyes. But I can fix that for you. Be right back. She skipped off toward the farmhouse. Just then, Sheepdog spotted an eagle overhead. It was looking at sheep like a mouse looks at cheese. The eagle dived. But Sheepdog told him to vamoose. Sheep found Sheepdog waiting for her outside the farmhouse, and she tied his hair into a pretty bow. Now you'll be able to see the sheep, she said. Except, you're still missing something very important. Be right back. Sheepdog looked around. It was true. He could see a little better with his hair pulled up. There was the shed, and the apple tree, and the coyote. Coyote? Sheepdog told him to skedaddle. Sheep returned with some binoculars. Here you go, she said. Now you'll be able to keep a sharp eye out for eagles and coyotes. Now, I don't suppose you have a map under all this hair, do you? Sheepdog shook his head no. Well, you're going to need a map so you won't get lost. Be right back. She danced her way toward the old truck to retrieve a map. The dance made her very happy. She closed her eyes. And because her eyes were closed, she couldn't see that. But Sheepdog did. Sheep kept on dancing. She had some extra fancy moves. Like most of Sheep's dances, this one ended with a bump on the head. But she had meant to do that, really. Sheep fished the map out of the glove box and handed it to Sheepdog. You're all set. You've got a hair bow so you can see binoculars to keep an eye out for danger, and a map so you won't get lost. Sheep thought for a moment. Now all we need are the sheep. She looked around. Not a sheep in sight. She borrowed Sheepdog's binoculars. Still no sheep. She unfolded the map. Yep, they were definitely in sheep country. Where are all the sheep, she asked. Did you lose them? You're the only sheep, Sheepdog said. Oh. Sheepdog sat down and thought about being only a sheep and not a sheep sheep. And when she thought, she got very still. And when she got still, she got very quiet. Thinking could do that. Finally, Sheepdog spoke. Maybe you're not a sheep sheep. Maybe you're a dog sheep. And your job is to watch the dog. After a moment, Sheep replied, Well, of course, I'm a dog sheep. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching dogs. That was Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more story time. <laughs>